some free peace stories when someone gets meeting some people kidnap them some people rape them some people do one thing or the other i swear i have never been so so scared in my life we're gonna, we're gonna Just as the title says, you guys already know what this video is all about. So today I'm going to be talking about me getting lost in the streets of Ghana. That was about 2-3 months ago when I visited Ghana. And this is a little bit different from the kind of videos I make. But this is really a story worth telling. So I'm like, why not make a video about it? Basically that's what I'm here to do today. So it's my first time making a story time kind of video. But yeah, you guys sure need to listen to the story. So without wasting much of your time, let us move into the video right now. Visiting Ghana, yeah, was something I was so excited about. So I had to plan towards that. I started planning for that trip from like April, May. So I knew it was going to be a solo trip because I had nobody I was going to travel with. Um, Vegetables wasn't ready at that time, so I just stayed uh, fine on how I was going to embark on this journey. I went on Airbnb, I checked few apartments and stuff like that, checked my flight ticket, just trying to like prepare for the trip. And yeah, it was September, I think ending of September, and I was set. I booked my flight ticket and we took off to Ghana. Getting to Ghana, I was so excited, like excited. Yeah, I contacted a few um, African YouTubers before heading there. I'm like, okay, I won't be bored. I'm gonna meet this person, meet this person. They're gonna take me around and I'll make lots of videos. So yeah, a friend of mine, she's also a YouTuber. She gave me a number of her friends and she told me that she knows places and she lived in Nigeria for quite some time. So. We can actually relate i'm like i was so excited i got to ghana moved to my apartment that was where the story began the first apartment i moved into i think i did um, an apartment tour i'm gonna leave the link on somewhere here or in the description box anyway it might just pop up here i got to the airport and the taxi came to pick me up because they have a pickup service they came to pick me up with they're going to this place it was far and i'm like i thought this place is close like i checked and they, they were like for the five minutes or something that we were going on this journey for almost an hour and i'm like wow this place is literally far when we got there i was excited the house was extremely what i saw online and i was excited to make a video about it so i went out the first day and yes this was the first day like literally i went out i came on sunday and i didn't go anywhere i relaxed this stuff and then the next day which was monday i went out to make videos i met me and we went to offshore street we went to independent layout we went to um is it independent square yeah independent square we went to Kwame Kuma. we went to some couple of places and then we ended up in a cafe where i had to edit and upload a video so doing all these things, I had to do a night a night um, video also like nightlife in Accra, Ghana. I will also leave the link up here somewhere around here. So we did all those stuff and I started heading home around 12 a.m. I booked an Uber and I told the Uber I didn't get the exact location of where my apartment was. I shopped with the apartment there and everything. The Uber came and we started embarking on the journey. 
So we got to the area. The map was telling the Uber to go here, go here. All the places the Uber was navigating to, I couldn't find the apartment there. Like, I was looking at the picture of the apartment, like I know where I stay. I Like, the apartment is so clear that if I see this apartment, I'm going to know that, okay, fine, this is the apartment where I'm staying. But then the map kept on picking up round and round and round. Guys, I was so scared. This was about 12 a.m. We started moving round and round that area until 12.30. I was so scared, like literally scared. Meanwhile, this thing happened to me twice. This first one is in this apartment, and the second one is very, 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 very like hilarious. So I'm just gonna start with this one. So we started moving round, 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 looking for my apartment. I told the guy, like, I know this apartment. If and this is the address. If the Google Map navigates you to that apartment, and I look at and I see that apartment, I am going to like confirm that yes this is where i stay so if i see the building i will know that this is my apartment we did this until it was one and then i remember that the manager's number was in the area okay, so i had to call but yeah before calling the manager for the Airbnb, i was scared because i was like this uber guy right here i don't know him from anywhere and he has been trying to be nice but sometimes if i turn and look at him i just get scared are you sure this guy is not going to do anything to me? Every, as in, everything was just so creepy. And he was trying to help out, but I think in my mind, I was like, God, I hope this guy is sincere. I hope he's not going to do anything to me. I hope this guy is not deliberately taking me around this place to increase money or to do anything bad to me. I was so scared. And then I remember that I had the manager's number. I gave him a call and he was like, oh, you're coming back. Have you forgotten I told you that if we are coming back, you should call me. I'm like, okay, okay, we are coming back. Driver, please tell him where we are. And they started speaking their dialect. I think that was girl language or something. Then I was like, ha! They started speaking their dialect. This one I cannot even understand. God, I hope nothing happens to me. So in my mind, deep down, I was speaking in tongues. I was praying. I'm like, God, I came here to like have fun, to make videos. I don't want anything bad to happen to me. My family members, what are they going to say? Like so many thoughts were running through my mind and then I, 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 I told the guy in English what's up is he giving you the direction and the guy said not to worry he's actually telling me where to come from and where to go to and I'm like okay fine I kept on praying and shaking but I didn't make it so obvious so that he doesn't get the signal and start acting somehow so the guy I gave him directions and then he brought me to the apartment and that was around past one Guys, I was so terrified. When I got it, I thanked him very much. I paid him. I even paid him extra because it was very good. Like some people would just leave you on the street or say something. Hmm. That day, I was like, I called my friend. I said, you know what? Ghana is safe. Like Ghana is literally safe. Like I got this at 12 a.m. and I found myself home at 1.30 or so. And I was like, fine. So guys, because that apartment was very, very far, I stayed there for two, three, four days or so, and then I had to move out of that place because I can't be coming out, coming back late and missing my road. Like I told you earlier, a friend of mine gave me a number of a girl and she said the girl has stayed in Nigeria for quite some time and we can't believe. So I called that girl and I told her I'm looking for another apartment and the one I found is already booked. Do you have an idea? She told me to come over to her place. I can stay in her place for a few days until I get the apartment. I'm like, oh my god, I'm so excited. Thank you very much. So I was so excited and I moved over to her place the next day. We went out, made videos and all that. And then the next day she told me she was heading to Nigeria and I had to stay there for the day. On, and then the next day I could move to the new apartment and then she told me who to give her keys to and everything i was excited and then she left for nigeria and i went out to make videos i met i met different people we made videos i did a couple of videos i just wanted to like relax and have fun out because coming coming to the house i would just be alone so i stayed out late this time around and i think i was with me so me took me to the bus stop and left that was where he took a cab to his own place and then i started coming home so the house, I don't know where she stayed. I, I, I think that's Abide Kuma. I don't know. The entrance of her house is kind of um, confusing. So, but I actually know the bus stop. So I got to the bus stop and I and I came out of the car and I started walking 
was the junction that led to her house. So, getting there, I was like pressing my phone and trying to see the videos I was going to edit because I was excited and made lots of videos. And I was like walking, walking, walking. And this was around, this always happens at 12, like literally, why? This was around 12 a.m. as well. So pressing my phone, I was pressing my phone, and there was light, of course, so there were street lights, and I was seeing where I was headed to. And then I got to a place and I realized I have actually missed my way. That was when I. <laughs> That was when I was very very scared. Like the first one, I wasn't that scared, but this time around, I looked to my front, but there was no soul, like nobody. Everywhere was dark. Everywhere was dark, just that the lights were there and there was nobody passing through the street that I could like give a call. I checked my phone, I did not have any airtime. And I my subscription actually finished, so there was no way I could chat of me there was no way i could place a call i was all alone confused scared what 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 other word am i going to use like i cannot even describe how i felt that day so i tried tracing my route back to the junction i entered the bus i couldn't even find the junction because i'm like what kind of road is this like what is all this i started doing this until i, I just tried to sit one place and i closed my eyes and i was like ah. I came here yesterday and my friend like told me where to come from and where to go to then how come I'm missing? How come I can't find her place? So I managed to trace my route back to the injunction where I, I, I took the where the cab dropped me. And yeah, so getting to the junction, I had to take a deep breath and I told myself, you know what, you can do it. Just close your eyes, open it and then follow the way you find your way. So basically that's what I did. I took a deep breath and I started taking the directions that I recalled my friend telling me this is where you have to go from and this is where you have to pass through so I did that I couldn't find my way then I repeated the same thing until I actually found a very tiny road I was supposed to like cross over and that was how I got home and when I got inside I was still scared like because I slept alone that night that night because she wasn't around I was so scared but I was happy I found myself home safe sound so that's that that hit me like Ghana is really safe because there are some places or maybe let me say those places I stayed were safe because there are some places that if people realize you actually don't know your way at that time of the night they are seriously gonna mess with you so I was so excited it ended this way because it could have been one story or the other but then i thank god everything happened and it ended that way guys after that day <laughs> once it's nine nine o'clock i always ensure i get home before then so that i don't get to miss my way i don't know this story might bore you or it might sound funny or it might sound somehow like why is she telling us about this but it's something to talk about because reverse could have been the case something bad could have happened to me it is very 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 interesting and nice to know that in africa someone can actually get missing and nothing happens to them i've heard about some creepy stories when someone gets missing some people kidnap them some people rape them some people do one thing or the other i swear i have never been so so scared in my life the day i, the way I was scared those those two days like the first one was even better because I was with someone, but the second one was something totally, totally, extremely like different. So you know what? I feel this is something to talk about, and that's why I'm here telling this story. And I am glad there are some places in Africa that someone can actually get me seen without having or encountering any danger or whatsoever. So this is actually the reason I'm telling this story. You know, I don't want to go no one any further. So I'm gonna leave you guys here now. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. I will see you guys in the next video. And until then, bye. And if you want more story time, just leave it down below in the comment section, and that will be done. Until then, bye.